November 28th, Thursday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, know that its desolation is at hand. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. Let those within the city escape from it, and let those in the countryside not enter the city. For these days are the time of punishment, when all the scriptures are fulfilled. Woe to the pregnant woman and nursing mothers in those days, for a terrible calamity will come upon the earth, and a wrathful judgment upon this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword, and be taken as a captives to all the Gentiles, and Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles, until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world, for the power of the heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand direct and raise your hands, because redemption is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord Jerusalem Surrounded Per Luke, writing in the mid-80s, Jesus' predictions of the Great Tribulation could allude to a specific event that happened around September of 70 AD, the fall and destruction of Jerusalem and the temple that ended a protracted Jewish rebellion against the Romans. Jesus' prophetic words, which are a vague reference to an otherwise vivid and bloody end of Jerusalem, are not only meant to alert the disciples on Jerusalem's fall. Jesus uses the prophecy to underline the truth that the coming of the end of the old order is as sure as what will come to pass in the holy city.